Okay, I want to make another video today about an outdoor lamp, low pressure sodium. It's my favorite kind of lighting and uh, I was fortunate enough to be able to get this lamp housing. Uh, it was being swapped out for a LED for energy efficiency and longer life and so anyway the ballast in this one did not work and I was able to pick it up for free now the downside is it got partially stripped so the reflector inside was missing uh, the two screws on the top were missing that hold the, uh, the housing together and uh, the electric eye, the photocell was missing as well. So this fixture had a bad ballast in it, which I've taken out. The capacitor is good, but the ballast is bad. And then the old socket as well I took out, and the mounting brackets. Now this had a metal arc in it. Um, you can see here, had a 175 watt bulb in there, an M57, and uh, like I said, this ballast was no good, so it got swapped out. So I rebuilt this, very similar to what I've done in my other video, which is a lot more in depth than this one, where I made my own fixture housing included. Uh, I got one spot in my yard where I wanted to have some extra lighting and so this works out perfect and uh, anyway I've used the same components I've used in the past. So I got my socket here for the LPS lamp. I'm using a ballast from a fluorescent fixture. It's a Robertson HP 28 again. Uh, it works with uh, these little bi-pin fluorescent lamps. So, yeah, anyway, the spec is is very close to what you need to drive the 18-watt low-pressure sodium. And so I've swapped that all in. Uh, this is where the old ballast was. There's a well in here where it fit in, but this one does not fit in there. So I left it on the mounting plate that it was attached to in its old fixture and put two holes in there to screw it into here. So that works good. Uh, the housing has its... Here we go. The housing has its ground point right there, so I'm using that. The ground... Uh, I've attached a jumper wire, however, from that ground point to the ballast where it's mounted. I don't really have to, but I figured I would anyways, uh, because this ballast is grounded through the chassis. So anyway, there's a jumper wire there for ground. Uh, I hooked on this threaded end, rather, this elbow on the outside for running power wire in. Uh, I've just temporarily connected it with regular house wire just to try it out. So of course connections. Uh, whites tie off to whites. Your black power in goes to your black lead into the ballast and the blue wire out of the ballast goes to your black lead into your lamp socket. And like I said, all the whites tie off together. So there you go. Those are your connections. Uh, once I get an electric eye, which I don't have one right now, I'll put that photo cell right in there. Right down there. And that'll be hooked in as the switch, as outlined in uh, my other video. So anyway, uh, I had to fab up a reflector. I 
like I said, the one that was in here got stripped. So I just took a piece of metal, gave it a nice little, little curve. Some coat hanger wire here and, and another little piece of metal and riveted that on so I've got a, a support for the lamp and drilled a couple of holes to screw it in and it works really good that way. Uh, I've tried it out already, it supports the lamp well and I think this is going to be a success. So just uh, I'm going to screw that on right now, just hold on. Okay, so I've screwed the, uh, the reflector in, put the lamp in and uh, got the support on there. It's solid now so that's really good. Uh, I'm just going to plug it in here and see if it'll arc. Okay, it is beginning to arc. Yeah, I think you can see that. Yeah, there it goes. It's starting to arc. Beautiful. Well, it looks like the ballast and everything is going to work. So that's great. Now I'll just have to uh, pick up an electric eye, wire that into there, and mount it. So anyway, I just want to give you that brief little little video on what I picked up here. Kind of in addition to my other video about building a fixture. Like I said, it was a whole lot more detailed than this. So Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. It's, it's flashing there. There we go, it's starting to warm up. It'll work. Good. Um, yeah, after I get this finished, uh, mounted, I'll, I'll add that in here too. Okay, well here it is, all warmed up and lit up. Seems to be working pretty good. So I think that'll be just fine. And uh, like I said, I gotta go to the store and pick up a photo cell and put that in there. And then I'll mount it and that'll be done. So another successful lamp project for low pressure sodium, 18 watt. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye. Yeah, here's a better shot from on top of the deck looking down. Got the lamp mounted right there. And it lights up all over here really, really nice.